What up, Nitro family? You know who it is. Core Jordan. TTR Racing. What's up, y'all? What up, family? Now, I just want to uh, show y'all a little video on um, just re-gluing your tires when they come a loose. Um, sometimes when you glue them, I know sometimes at races, you might race and your tire might come unglued from the bead of the rim of the tire. So I'm going to show y'all the um, the way you can do it to keep it from coming in loose again. So this particular tire, I was racing at SIC, the first race. If you go back in my old videos, you can, um, I got some footage of the race I was at where I introduced like some more of the TTR racing um, guys on our team. So you can check that out too. But at that race, I glued, a, I glued a pair of tires, J Concepts Reflex tires, which are very good. And um, and it was like probably about eight races before it was my race to be up. And basically, I used you know, the fast adhesive glue that, that dries and, and um, dries up fast. So, but anyway, long story short, basically my tire, one of my tires came loose in the race or whatever. And so, what I'm going to do today is just show y'all how to, um, how to um, clean off your rim and your wheel and everything so you can glue the tire back without it coming off again. So, first thing I'm going to do is um uh, since my almost on one side did come completely unglued so i'm gonna flip it inside out like this i'm gonna remove remove my phone and if yours don't if yours come off but it don't come completely off the rim like this one did like on the back side of this tire so i got a space back here that came loose also if it come off like that much you can still do this do this principle I'm about to show y'all too if it comes off you know like that you might not be able to put take your whole insert out insert out the tire but you just can pull it back when I get through doing gluing re-gluing this side I'm gonna show y'all how to do it with the insert in there but anyway um, I'm gonna flip the tire out inside out like this where it's just on the rim exposed and basically what I'm gonna do, get you a Dremel. Dremel tool. Get your Dremel tool. And basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go around the edges and get that old glue off. Like you see this old glue. I'm gonna take that off with my Dremel. Just get your sanding wheel on your Dremel and just remove the, all that old glue. I'm gonna do that off the rim itself and also off the tire bead. This the part that they always call put the glue on the bead. And also it it's good also before I do this, I'ma clean this bead and clean this tire. Spray some get some simple green. Simple green keep some simple green on you. Um at all times it's just good doing degreasing and stuff with with the um RC car. So I'ma clean it, clean the rim, which I already have. Spray it on there, clean it off. Have your Microsoft towel and just dry it off, clean it off, really good, dry it off. And you're gonna do the rim and also do the the bead of the tire. So I'm gonna drum on the rim, get this old glue off. Drum that off. And also get the old glue off the bead of the tire saying that all so here we go so we're just knocking that old blue off you don't have to press hard. Just let the same wheel do its job. Yeah. 
Just take the old glue off. Just like that. Okay. Now, just use a drum. It don't matter. Cordless. I got the cordless because it's easier. But I also still have the regular drummer with the cord. It don't matter. Whatever you have, use it. It ain't got to be drummer. It can be this right here, this um, Hyper Tough. Get these at Walmart. I got this one off eBay for like $15. This is good for you. Like my channel was originally made for, you know, the how to show things for the budget racer to get into racing or the budget basher. You, have to, you ain't got to spend a whole lot of money to do this hobby. It's just things you spend your money on. That's the thing about it. It can get expensive, but it don't have to get expensive if you make it. So you just have to spend your money on the, on the right stuff, on quality, not all time, on quantity of stuff, on quality stuff. So, but anyway, after you dreamer, got to see, got all the glue off. Spread down with some simple green. Get the, just gonna get the um the dust off it from from dremeling. Got that off. I'm gonna like I said again, we're gonna dremel the bead. We're gonna get the, the glue, the old glue off the tire bead. I'm gonna dremel that off too. Do it like this, stretch it out so you have a bigger surface. Like that, you stretch it like this too, so you have a flat surface, you can get it off better. Do this side right there. Get that out, stretch it out. And also thing to look at, if you want to get a drum that you control your speeds on, that'll be good too. That's another option. So, okay, we got all the excess old glue off. So I'm gonna spray it down again with some super green. Spray the bead off. So, okay, I'm wipe it down. Wipe it down, dry it off. All right. Wipe it down real good. Just get all that. All the shavings that's gonna come off. A little bit of your little bit of your tire gonna come off. It's gonna be roughed up, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So Okay, we got all that old glue off. Everything pretty much clean, see? Okay, so now I'm gonna, re I'm gonna put my insert back in. I'm gonna like that. Just make sure your insert is back behind the bead. You kind of want to make sure it's back behind like this line right here on the, the rib. This is the bead of the tire or the rim itself. So just pull it back, all the way back. And now I can fold the tire back over the insert and the wheel. Just 
just like that. If you can't go back and dry it off, dry off again, wipe it down again. So I got that wiped off again. So now, we got that all done. We got the tie back seated evenly on the rim with the insert inside. We're gonna clean that off, wipe it down. Just make sure it's laying nice and dry and clean before we get the glue. I'm just using J Concepts Advantage Advanced Formulated Tire Glue Thin Black But if you can if you're not at a shop, you don't have tire glue again on my old videos I showed y'all if you can't get just regular tire glue, you can also can go to Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and just pick up some all purpose crazy glue, something like that. Or either you can also get um Loctite. Professional strength Loctite. So, it don't have to be tire glue. Sometimes you can be run, you can run out, and you might not have it. So, since I have it, I'm gonna use this. But um, these work work very good, very good. So, okay. So now you got your tire back on, the insert back in. You flip the tire back in, back to the right way. Now, just like I say, wipe it down, dry it off your towel dry it off real good and now you just you just go back and glue like you usually do when you get ready to glue your tires up you can use use bands these con J concept tire bands you can put after you glue it you can put it over over just like this over your tire like that you use I got both J Concepts or AKA. It don't matter. You can use these. These are good to use, and they do help to keep it a little tighter than normal. But we're just gonna a little tighter than normal. They put a little pressure on the glue. But everybody not everybody might not have this. New beginners, bashers, we might not. You know, you might not have tire bands. If you got rubber bands that make big enough to go over your tire, you can use just regular rubber bands. Basically, that's all this is. But um, we're going to do it without it. Because everybody might not have, you know, rubber bands and stuff. So, but anyway, just get your glue. And just glue it up regular. When you glue, you just push down the rim of the tire like this. And you want to get on the bead. Just like that. Now this is fast, adhesive glue, real thin. If you don't like this kind, cause it's just, it runs fast. So, just press it down, you go around the bead, all the way down, all the way around. Now if you do it good enough, it will run on itself around the bead. So you just push down, around the bead, all the way back around. And how you know you when you're back to your starting point, because by the time you get back around, especially with this glue, it is gonna it's gonna be um, you know, dry. It's gonna be sticky. So. You want to do it all the way down on that bead that you just dribbled off. So, okay. You got it all the way around. Now, you may have a little excess of glue on the top of the tire around the bead. Just wipe it in a circular motion. Just like this, all the way around. Because this excess 
what it's doing when you do it, when you wipe it like that, wipe it quick. Because sometimes the glue get hot and it may burn because it's just fast active glue or whatever. But when you wipe it like that, that produces a seal around what you just glued. So that's like, you know, extra backup. Help it seal up, seal up even more. So. So we're going to roll like that. See, got that done. Glued. Ready to go. So we got this side knocked out. And now. So now we're going to do this back side right here that I was telling you about. Basically the same way. If you can, if you want to go ahead and do, I'm going to pull the rubber out like this. Because my insert in there, this is the tire bead. Get my Dremel again. Take that old glue off. Take the old glue. Simple green, I'm gonna spray it down because look, all that, all them shavings inside the tire, you gotta clean that off because you don't want it, all that to get in your glue when you get ready to re glue it. So we're gonna clean that all out like that. And so, got that knocked out. Now, have been said and now we're gonna do the do the rim so you're just gonna push back it's gonna be you have to use a little force now to hold this tire back with the insert in now but same way Same thing. Pull it back. Pull it back. Get all that old glue out. Just like that. Get all that old blue off. You got some right there at the bottom. You got some right there. We're gonna get that off. Just like that. Simple green again, spray it. Get your towel, wipe it off. Wipe that off. Wipe that out. Like that. And now we're just gonna pull it back over like it's supposed to be. Make sure you insert, make sure your insert is in place. 
Make sure everything is nice and informed. Everything that is where it's supposed to be and round. So, see the front side is done. It's already ready to go. So, now we're just going to work on this back side. So, we're just going to wipe it down one more time. Make sure everything is nice and dry. It don't have to be like, you ain't got to let it sit up. 15 20 minutes just wipe it down make sure everything good and dry got a good clean towel make just make sure everything's dry so just do it like we did the front same way That glue on that bead. That glue on the bead. You gonna get some glue on your hands, so don't try to. Don't worry about it. It happens. It'll come off eventually. <laughs> That's it, y'all. That's it, wipe it down. Just let it, let it, let it do what it do. Let it go and dry up. Just that quick, and you're good to go. Back up and running. Everything glued up. This way, this way. It's selling that it'll come off, it will come off again. But if it does, you just do the same process and you'll be good to go. Now you just got all, you ain't got to be like, oh, I got three tires, that's good. And now how I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying, my other tire that came off, can I still use it? Do I need to throw it away? No, you don't need to throw it away. You just clean off the, the rim like I showed you with your Dremel. Clean off your tire with the Dremel. Take off the old glue on the rim of the tire, on the rim with the Dremel. Then take off the old glue that's on the tire with the Dremel. Spray it down with the simple green. Spray it down with the simple green. Clean all the shavings off. Get your towel, wipe it down. Wipe all the shavings. Wipe all the simple green off. Make sure everything's dry. And re-glue. Re-glue. Reglue it. Once you do that, you're good to go. Everything sealed up. Look, front side sealed up already. Glued up. Back side glued up. Just that quick. And now you're ready to go rip. Ready to go rip. So, yeah, y'all, just a little tip. How to keep them tire, keep your tire maintenance, keep them tires going, keep them tires running good, and uh, how to fix a little problem that that may come, you know, that may happen that they may come unglued. It don't matter what tire, one a scale, one ten scale, buggy triggy. If you're gluing Badlands, you're gluing race tires, or you're gluing other basher tires, it, tires are tire. Everything all works the same way. This is like when tuning. It don't matter if it's a modified. It don't matter if it's point 0.10, point 0.12, point 0.15, point 0.18, all the way up to 32s. Tuning, the same way. Gluing stuff up, same concept. Same concept. So, all right, y'all. Core Drawing TTR Racing. 
hey, treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you ain't ripping, you tripping. Left tie to salute to my family. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. Have a blessed day. Hey, I might get out there and bash some, so y'all stay tuned. You might see something else from me, from me today. So, hey, hey, family, this the next next project car. So y'all look for this. I'm do some videos on this. This is a little a car that um I'm gonna redo and um be a blessing to somebody. So y'all stay tuned with that. So wear some parts for some parts to come in. Get it back going better than ever. And when I get it back going better than ever, we're going to be a blessing to somebody. So, hey. Hey, y'all. Treat people where you want to be treated. If you ain't ripping, you tripping. And to my Nitro family, left tie salute to y'all. If you know what I'm talking about, left tie salute, go look back at my old videos and you'll figure it out. Do a little homework. All right, y'all. Later.